find the perimeter of the parallelogram. And we have a parallelogram right over here. Opposite sides are parallel. That side is parallel to that side right over here. This side is parallel to that side over here. And also in a parallelogram, opposite sides have the same length. Now, we have to worry about the perimeter here, which essentially just says if we had a field, the size or the shape of this parallelogram, and we wanted to make a fence around the field that was the shape of this parallelogram, how long would that fence have to be? And it obviously, it would be the, lengths, uh, the sum of the lengths of the sides. So and we wouldn't even have to worry about this thing right over here. We could ignore it for the sake of that problem. We don't care about the actual height or this altitude right over here. We just care about the lengths of its sides. So the perimeter of this, pa of this parallelogram is going to be 12 inches plus 8 inches plus 12 inches plus 8 inches. 12 inches plus 8 inches plus 12 inches plus 8 inches. 12 plus 8 is 20. 12 plus 8 is 20. So this is all going to add up to 40, 40 inches. And we're done. I guess this is a very small field because it's only 8 inches. So it's, I guess it wouldn't be called. It would be a little plot of land, a little parallelogram plot of land. Anyway, we're done. Its perimeter is 40 inches.